Hello again. As users of any software application become more experienced, they start looking for ways of making it more efficient. Most of our users will be familiar with the uh, multiple functions that we've uh, imposed on the scroll wheel in the middle of a mouse. The primary use of that middle button is to snap to the points at the end of lines. But it's also used for zooming in and out and to pan and scroll across the screen. What a lot of you may not be aware of is the use of the mouse using the enhanced controls. In combination with the keyboard and double click of the left mouse, a whole range of additional roof modification functions are built in to expedite the process. And I'd suggest that you find that description in the, uh, on the help files on, on the website, help.applicant.com. Print this page off and stick it next to uh, your screen so that you have ready access to these functions until you become proficient in their use. Let's explore some of these things uh, right now. Probably the most used function is using the left mouse on a line. So we double click the line and the dialog box pops up and prompts you for a new line type. Let's say I want to change this to a box cutter. And the cursor stays up as well after selecting it so that I can change other lines to that line type as well, should that be necessary. You also have the ability to change a plane in a similar way. So I double click the plane. Now this building was defaulted to metal, but I might want to change this to tiles. And in the same way as for the lines, the plane cursor stays up, allowing me to select additional surfaces to change to the different plane material. Now, if we decide we want to change the attributes of the geometry, we have a whole bunch of things that we can do um, using keyboard functions and the left mouse. For example, if I hold down the control key, double click the eave line, it prompts for the overhang change and it changes it. Uh, or I might, for example, um, holding down the shift key and the alt key, I beg your pardon, the shift and control key, we get the prompt for atriums. Or we use just the shift key and select the eave line. We get a sliced hip function that takes a whole chunk off the end of the roof and puts a couple of barge lines there. If we collect, uh, select perhaps a ridge line instead of the eave line, new things happen. Holding down the alt key and the ridge line, we get the prompt for a Dutch gable. And the Dutch gable is built. We can also turn a hip into a gable. So if I were to hold down the control key and select a ridge line, let's get over here to this ridge. Gable end. And then perhaps if we had a split gable on the end of that, hold down the shift key, select the ridge line, the Parameters for a split cable are displayed. Change them to whatever you need them to be. Let's say tuck under is 500 and hit OK and it builds the split cable. But what about if the barge line needed to be extended further under the roof? If I hold down the control key and select a barge line, how far do I want to extend it? A metre and it extends the barge in under the roof. We can also hold down the Alt key and double click a plane and we'll want to know what pitch we want to use and it changes the pitch. So there's a whole bunch of stuff that we can do which speeds up the process with a bit of practice. You can become expert with these extra functions 
and instead of going through the menus, which work just as well, some would argue just as fast, but uh, with a bit of practice, these additional functions can speed up the process enormously. So have fun with that. Um, don't forget it's at help.applicate.com and um, find the, the section on mouse controls. And if you uh, have any questions, drop us a line, ray at applicate.com and I'll be pleased to help you out. Have fun, stay safe, and we'll see you next time around. Bye for now.